In this video, I want to show you how to use Python to transfer a file from your computer to a device like an iPad that doesn't have any way of physically putting in uh, any kind of memory drive. I have this ancient iPad that I basically now just use as an e-reader. And it's really good for that because I read quite a lot of PDFs if I'm reading papers and stuff. And it's much easier to read a PDF on an iPad than it is on a Kindle, which I also have, which I use for books. And so I have the Kindle app installed on this iPad and I tend to just email PDFs to my Kindle account and then I can download them from the iPad and, and that works fine. But the other day I had a file that I wanted to read and it was quite big. It was something like 30 or 40 megabytes and I didn't want to email that. I didn't think the email server would handle it particularly well. And so I wanted another way of transferring the file. Now, because this is so old, I can't update the operating system for it. And so I can't update any of the apps. So any of the ways that I would normally use to sync files across various devices, they wouldn't work on this. And the Bluetooth file transfer has always been quite dodgy when working with my computer which is Windows based. Now I'm sure I'm not the only person with this problem, but there is an easy solution using, you guessed it, Python, where you can set up a web server very easily on your computer, and then you can use the browser on your iPad to navigate to the folder where the files are and just download them straight to your iPad. It's really easy to do, and I'm gonna show you how right now. Okay, let's get started. Now I'm showing you how to do this on Windows. It'll be very similar on a Mac or on a Linux system, but the operating system commands will be slightly different. So on a Windows system, go to your command line by typing CMD. Um, we will just open that up. And here it is, so let's bring that over. Now, what you're gonna to have to do first is make a folder. And incidentally, only do this on a network that you trust, like your uh, internet connection at home, uh, your Wi-Fi connection at home. Do not do this on a public connection, a public network, because essentially what you're doing is sharing the contents of your computer or of a particular folder on your computer with that network and you know you don't want to do that so this is something that you have to do on a home and trusted network what we're going to do first is we're going to create a folder that you're going to share so you're not sharing the whole contents of your computer you're just sharing the contents of a particular folder and any subfolders in that folder so first of all we will create that folder you can either do that using your file explorer or you can do it through the command line so let's just do that so I'm going to create a folder now that I want to use to put any files that I want to share on the network. So let's call this, so mkdir, and let's call it shared files. So I've now created that. So I've now cd'd into that directory. And what I'm going to do now, if we list the contents of this directory, obviously there's nothing in there, it's empty. So what we're gonna do now is run the command. Now you have to have Python installed. So make sure you have Python installed on your system. And all you do is type python hyphen m http dot server, and then the port number that you want to share. So let's make that 8,000. And now we've created our server. So the contents of that folder, which is currently empty, are being shared now on the network. So what we have to do now is find our network address, the IP address. So if we open up another instance of the command line and we type IP config, that will tell us our IP address. This is my IP address here. So I'm gonna to go to the iPad now and I'm gonna type in that address. So 192.168.4351.0. Uh, if I navigate to that, you can now see I've got a directory listing for that folder. Now that folder's empty, so there's, there's nothing in there at the moment. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a file in there. And I've got a, a PDF here, it's the Introduction to Statistical Learning, so I will copy that and I'm going to paste this now into the folder and now 
when I update this, so here it is, and I'm going to update this now. And there is the file that I've just transferred, and I can click on that now and wait for it to load up, and there it is. So that is quite an easy way of just setting up a server in Python so that you can share files on a home network. Only do it on a network that you can trust. But it's quite an easy solution to a problem that can be a little frustrating.